Let us factorize this quadratic. Uh, when students get this type of quadratic, uh, they don't know what to do. And one of the best ways to factorize is using the method called completing the square. Now, before we do this, I want you to look at these quadratics. Okay, now these are called perfect squares, uh, quadratics, or perfect square trinomials. So it's x squared plus 4x plus 4. Uh, you, that is x plus 2, the whole squared. x squared minus 6x, six, six, or, or in other words, the two factors of 4, which gives you 4, are 2 and 2. The two factors of 9, which gives you negative 6 and negative 3 and negative 3. The two factors of 25, which gives you negative 10 and negative 5 and negative 5. Now, if you look at 4 and this 4, this negative 6 and 9, negative 10 and this 25, there's a pattern there. I'll give you two seconds to think about it. Hopefully, you thought about the pattern. The pattern is very simple. You do the half of 4. Half of 4 is 2, and then you square it, which is 4. Half of negative 6 is negative 3, and then you square it, which is 9. Half of negative 10 is negative 5, and square it is 25. So this is called a perfect, and this is how you can find whether it's a perfect square trinomial if you go backwards. If this is given, I can say this is a perfect square by, by just looking at this 4, which is the coefficient of x and the constant. Okay, and the, this is the next formula, which is called difference of two squares. When you have x squared minus 16, I hope you understand you factorize that to x plus 4 times x minus 4. If it's x squared minus, 20, x squared minus 25 is x plus 5, x minus 5. Now, we're going to use these two formulas here. Okay, so you may wonder what am I going to do. Now, uh, when you're factorizing by completing the square, you want the leading coefficient to be 1. So this is called the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient of x squared, or leading, coefic co leading coefficient is the coefficient of x squared in this quadratic. So I want to write this as 1 here. Yeah. So I'm going to factor out a, a minus 2 here. Yeah. So if you factorize, we factor, if you factor out minus 2, you can write x squared minus half x minus 3. Now, just to check, how did I write minus half x? Minus 2 times x squared is minus 2x squared. Minus 2 times negative half x is plus half plus x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6. So I'll keep the minus 2 out. Okay, now I'm going to do completing the square method. So I'm going to uh, ignore this negative 3 for a while. So I'm going to make this as x squared minus half x. Now I'm going to think like this. Half of half of negative half. And half of negative half is, the first step is you have to find the half of this coefficient, which is a negative quarter. And then you square negative quarter. If you square negative quarter, which is 1 16th, okay? And that's what you write here. This is 1 16th. Now, once you write 1 16th, you have to immediately take away 1 16th. And then your minus 3 is already sitting there. So this is a very crucial step. And this is where you need practice. Do half of this number and then square it. You add it and you take it away. That means you haven't done anything. So this step and this are the same. So this is 0 and this is minus 3. So minus 2 times, I'll write one step like this. So this is x squared minus half x. And this 1, one sixteenth I can write as 1 quarter the whole squared. Okay, and this I'm going to write as minus 1 sixteenth minus, I want to make this 16, so I should multiply both the numerator and denominator with 60, which is 48 over 16. Okay, now though the steps are too many, this is a good st uh, strategy to factorize any quadratic. You can factorize any quadratic using this strategy. So yeah, as I told you, this 2 is always, this is from 2 squared. You can see, can you see a pattern? This is x squared plus 4x plus 2 squared. This is x squared minus uh, 6x, and this 9 is 3 squared. So you get this number from here, 
you get the sine from here and x you get from here. So this 20 phi is nothing but phi squared and you get a minus here. So that's why I wrote this as a perfect square. So this is x minus quarter the whole squared minus 49 sixteenths. Okay, so we're almost there. So this is minus two times x minus quarter the whole squared minus 49 over 16 is 7 quarters the whole squared. So now you've got difference of two squares. Okay, so you're going to use this formula. So this is minus 2 times x minus quarter take away 7 quarters times x minus quarter plus 7 quarters. Okay, so this is nothing but minus 2. This is minus 2 times, this is x minus 8 quarters. 8 quarters is 2. And this is x plus 6 quarters. x plus 6 quarters is 3 halves. Okay, so and now I'm going to multiply. So you can leave this as the answer. So this is nothing but minus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 1.5. And this is a perfect answer. There's nothing wrong in this answer. And if you expand this, you should get the question back.